Hello, I'm Dr. Claire Bradley, Chief Medical Officer of IPRO. Now that we know what diabetes is and the complications it can cause, let's talk about its treatment. Diabetes is a treatable chronic illness. Two things you can do to help keep your blood sugar under control are eating healthy and keeping active. What does healthy eating really mean? It means eating a variety of foods, using the United States Department of Agriculture food pyramid as your guide. Try to choose foods from each food group, grains, vegetables, fruits, milk, meat, and beans. Eat different things every day and watch the portion sizes of what you eat. It also means eating meals and snacks regularly at the same time every day. This allows time for the body to produce and use enough insulin so the body has the energy it needs throughout the day. The number of meals and the time between meals can vary according to your health care needs and lifestyle. It is important to eat breakfast every day. This is important because it helps fuel the body after a long night of resting and fasting. It gives you the energy to start the day's activities. Eating breakfast will also help you if you have weight loss goals. Lastly, it is important to eat the same amount at each meal. This helps with weight loss and helps maintain the same level of energy throughout the day. Skipping meals or mixing large meals with tiny meals can throw off your energy level and lead to unplanned and unhealthy snacking. It can also aggravate or cause other problems like irritability, mood swings, low blood sugar, pain or difficulties breathing due to stomach bloating, heartburn, indigestion, and even poor sleep. Another way you can control your diabetes is by keeping active. I would like to now tell you some physical activity goals and tips to follow. Engage in moderate aerobic activities such as brisk walking. This should be done 20 to 30 minutes a day, three to five days a week. The goal is a total of 120 minutes of exercise a week. Remember that when exercising at a moderate level, you should be able to talk comfortably while doing the activity. You should also do strengthening exercises like using weights or elastic resistance bands. Eight to 10 strengthening exercises, two to three days a week are recommended. Build in rest days so your muscles have a chance to adapt and strengthen. Here are some things to keep in mind when you are exercising. Exercise should be done at roughly the same time every day. Exercise should be coordinated with meals. It's best to exercise about one to two hours after eating. The same amount of exercise should be done each time. You should work your way up to higher exercise levels gradually at your own pace. Remember to talk with your healthcare professional before starting any physical activity program. If they do the right thing, many of these complications can be, can be minimized dramatically. And if they do the right thing, which is at the beginning diet and exercise and comply with medications, many of these complications can be prevented and diabetes can be controlled. If you want to learn more about diabetes, check out our other videos, including how to work with your healthcare team in managing your diabetes.